and probably add some more collage on this one. I already did a little bit, but I want to give I want to put some more on with my idea. Yeah, I'm going in and just with an old card adding some thin glazes you can see with the purple So I decided to lie the paint in flat so I could get more paint on. I put it on quite thickly and then scraping off with this scraping tool, bringing back a little bit those purple flowers. Then I go in with some gold paint. Here I am adding some metallic blue which I really like and to go with the metallic gold I feel it's more orangey so nice complementary blue Sticking with my gold theme, adding some gold leaf. I love that part where you brush off, always use a dry brush, you brush off the gold leaf and see what's left. Here I'm just touching it to see if there's any glue still there. And there is so, I add a little bit more gold leaf. I wanted to find the name of the flower which was the origin of this painting and I remembered I had this old book that I just picked up at a second hand shop and which I've used before, torn pages out, it's used in different collaging um, projects and I found that, or I think it is a Jerusalem artichoke which I found in the book in French it's called a uh, topinambour So according to all the details it fits <laughs> the flower that I found gives you where they grow, how big they grow all details like that Here I go, tearing out some pages to add to the painting. I prefer to tear around the paper rather than using scissors. I don't really like the straight edges. Here I'm adding some text, some images of the flowers here and there, making sure they're really well glued down and I like to go around the edges with some paint. I 
and continuing with the collage theme and going back to the beginning of the video when I said I had an idea my idea was to go and collect some flowers and try to collage some real flowers into my paintings but first I have to dry them so I watched a few videos on good old YouTube and decided to try out this microwave method. So I'm here placing some flowers onto some paper towel and then I kind of hand press them to get the moisture out as much as I could. Then pop them into a microwave on defrost mode I put them on for four minutes with the microwave I've got I have to on defrost mode it stops every 30 seconds so I get check in until I got these dried flowers second batch I just added a few loose petals as well to see how that would come out. Back to the studio. I left these to press in my sketchbook for a while. Using my usual gel medium to stick these down. And all trial and error, all in my process of experimenting, I decided that the flower centers were too bulky for collaging. So I decided to take off all the petals and stick them all on individually.
So now I've got my inks out again. I felt as if I need to cut some kind of linear marks in there. I'm using my long stick to not be so precise. Here I'm using the red and I want to create some of my usual drippies. You can see it's already dripping on the yellow flowers there and along the edge of the canvas. Just trying to get it to move a little bit quicker. I always love adventuring into the unknown, not knowing quite what's going to happen. And I love this about inks. I think I sprayed some water on there to kind of spread the drips out a little bit more. Going back in with a little bit of definition. Here I'm adding, I think I've probably got pastels there, yeah, oil pastels. Okay, this is where I'm up to for now. As you saw, I went in with different mediums, inks, crayons, markers, and it's not finished yet. I'm going to go in next with some oil paints. So I usually finish up my paintings, some glazers, and bring some vibrancy in with some oil paint. If you enjoy watching my painting processes, then do subscribe, you get notified of new videos. I'm going to be uploading quite regularly. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I will answer them. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Au revoir.